pursue those that harm us. I read a paper tackling child sexual exploitation was published in March 2015. It set out as an ambitious programme of work to address the failures that we saw in Rotherham and elsewhere in the UK that were brought to light by Professor Alexis J, Dame Louise Casey and a few others. While this is a good thing, what about the culture of the police? It is reported that the Metropolitan Police strip searched 650 children without an appropriate adult present, with the majority of them being from minority ethnic backgrounds. The case of Child Q made mainstream media where the child was on her period, strip searched and was handed back her used sandwich to towel after her ordeal. Gorsill Studios Aftercare Forum chose to do a piece of art that reflected the injustices around young people's invasion of bodies by both officials and predators. The images in the trees appear inhuman and haunting. There isn't a set look for a predator. This form of criminality is an equal opportunities employer. They are hidden in plain sight. The sullen looks of the two young people are to reflect both the hurt and anger of the situation. There are two letters painted subtly within the painting, O for Olivia and Q for Child Q. They are painted so delicately to reflect the exploitation of bodies of minors. It tends to be a shock value to others immediately, but then slowly ebbs away from people's memories when they happen to ordinary or vulnerable young people. It feels as though until these types of cases happen to children and young people of officials and people in power, that this sort of culture will continue.